Hey gamers, welcome back to Creative Gamers. Today, I'm going to show you how to perfectly set up the brand new Eden Switch emulator on your Android device. This emulator is a fork of Yuzu, specially designed for mobile, and it's been getting a lot of attention lately. I'll walk you through all the best settings for a smooth experience, and we'll be testing it using one of my favorite games, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. If you're into emulation or just want to play Nintendo Switch games on your phone, stick around. This video will save you a lot of time and frustration. Before we get started, let's quickly go over what you'll need for this setup. You'll need an NSP game file, the Eden Emulator APK, the latest Turnip GPU driver if you're using a Snapdragon device, your prod.keys to decrypt your games, and the latest Nintendo Switch firmware. Make sure you have all these files ready. They're essential for getting everything working properly. Let's jump right into the setup. First things first, once you've opened Eden, enable notifications. This helps you stay updated with the latest firmware or compatibility patches. Then, you'll need to install your product keys. These are necessary to decrypt your game files. Next, set up your game directories. Eden supports both XCI and NSP formats, so just point it to wherever your game files are stored. You'll also notice a nice feature here, a new grid and list view on the homepage that makes browsing your game library easier. Now let's head into the settings. From the main menu, go to Advanced Settings and then into System Settings. Turn off the Limit Speed option to unleash the full power of your device, but keep in mind this might cause lag in some games. Also, make sure Docked Mode is disabled. Unless you have a very powerful phone, Docked Mode can slow things down. This setting is ideal for devices that can handle high performance, but for most users, keeping it off is the safer bet. Next, under advanced settings again, go into graphics settings, set the accuracy level to normal, but if you're playing Dragon Ball Z, Kakarot like I am, bump it up to high for better visuals. Keep the resolution at balanced 1x, which equals 720p. If your device struggles, switch it to 0.5x for smoother gameplay. Set V-Sync mode to immediate. This essentially disables it and helps prevent input delay. Anisotropic filtering should be set to auto, and for aspect ratio, choose stretch to window, so your game fills the screen properly. Scroll down further in the same menu and you'll find some powerful options. Turn on force maximum clocks if your phone has an Adreno GPU. This gives a noticeable performance boost, but watch out for overheating. Then enable use asynchronous shaders. This helps reduce stutter, though it might cause minor visual glitches depending on the game. There's also a cool feature called Eden's Veil. Inside this section, most settings are already optimized for your device, but you can tweak a couple of things. Change the shader backend based on your GPU. If you're using a Snapdragon device, go with Adreno. For others, select Molly or Universal. At the bottom, if your device has plenty of RAM, say 8GB or more, switch VRAM usage to aggressive for better texture loading and performance. Go back into advanced settings again, and you'll find the new overlay settings. This lets you customize the FPS overlay and other on-screen info, which is great for monitoring performance during gameplay. Now back to the main settings menu. Tap on Add GPU Driver. Eden supports custom GPU drivers, but only for Snapdragon users. To check what GPU your phone has, use an app like CPU-Z. If you're not using a Snapdragon device, you'll need to stick with the default drivers. Finally, go to Manage Eden Data and install your firmware file. Once that's done, your emulator setup is complete and ready for action. Let's launch a game and see how it performs. I've loaded up Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, and as you can see, it's running smoothly at around 30 FPS. The graphics are crisp, controls are responsive, and the gameplay is stable. You might be wondering why I keep testing this game. Honestly, I just love it. The story, the combat, the nostalgia, it's a complete package. So there you have it, the complete Eden emulator setup, optimized settings, and a real gameplay test. If you're using a Snapdragon phone, you can play even the big Switch games. But if you're on a budget phone, try out smaller titles under 2GB for the best results. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below with the next game you want me to test. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Happy gaming.